Welcome back. It was groundbreaking television that broke all the rules. <laughs> TV's first bilingual sitcom, Que Pasa USA, was supposed to be educational programming produced for public television. But it grew to become a monster pop culture phenomenon that's still entertaining audiences all over the world. Our Louis Aguirre sat down with three cast members who are about to dive back into the rows that they left behind 40 years ago, but not without some controversy. Oh, it's a reunion 40 years in the making. <laughs> On this random day in Little Havana, in Versailles of all places. Legit tripping right now. I'm hanging out with Stephen Bauer, Barbara Martin, and Connie Ramirez, who are about to step back into the roles that made them famous the world over after starring in a little local TV show produced for public television. It's become... And I love Lucy for Latin. The groundbreaking Que Pasa USA, the first bilingual sitcom ever on television. It gave us the Peñas, a multi-generational Cuban family adapting to exile life in Miami in the 1970s and the crazy cast of characters that came their way. We were us. And we would, and, and, and in a sense, it felt like we would be us forever. For 39 episodes that first ran from 1977 to 1980, we fell in love with Pepe, Juana, Abuelo, Abuela, Carmencita, and of course, Joe, Violeta, and Sharon. You Cubans are too loud, and you never stop talking long enough to listen to each other. The show became a monster hit. Oh, I love America. And the cast had no clue. You guys were blowing up, and you had no idea how that big we know. was. We There's did. No, no, no idea. No no. The only and way we would know was when we would walk on the street and people would stop us. Here. Not that just here. The show was so popular, it was soon broadcast across the country, later the world, and it never went off the air. Yes. It's still on TV. Does that blow your mind? Um, no. My girl, my, my, no, it doesn't blow your mind. Just the residual part. Yeah. <laughs> But right, two cast members that. aren't so, laughing, they, I mean, while Ana Margo will join Bauer, Martin, and Ramirez at the Adrian R. Center to reprise their roles in a new stage play, Que Pasa USA, 40 years later. The actors who played Juana and Pepe will not. I'm very grateful to this country. Even though Steven practically begged his TV dad, actor Manolo Villaverde, to reconsider. I really talked to him about doing the, the show. Yeah. And he has his reasons, and I respect that. <laughs> The abuelos, Belia Martinez and Luis Oquendo, have passed, but both Via Verde and Ana Margarita Martinez are still very angry at WPBT for not paying the money they feel they're owed. Royalties the entire cast forfeited 40 years ago because the show was being produced for public television on a shoestring budget. Are you at all resentful? I'm not resentful at all. I find it that I was given an opportunity to grow as an actress. People come up to me and say, oh, we love you and it made me laugh. I'm grateful that I was able to give that. Steven it's is also grateful. Sad. Starring in Que Pasa made him a movie star. Are you serious? In fact, when Hollywood came calling, he abruptly left the show in the third season and never got the chance to say goodbye. So you never had closure as Joe. As yeah. Joe, I didn't say goodbye. In the show, Joe went off to college, but now the new play Uber a used mattress. tells us what happened next and why these characters are still in each other's lives. We just started rehearsing recently, and I told Connie last night, we're getting it, you're getting it, Chico. What is it like to be Violeta again? Oh, scary. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's Violeta 40 years later. She's a senior citizen. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So, yes, they're older, but then so are we who grew up watching them. And the cast is vowing to give us the audience an experience Pepe Peña would be proud of. I want them to walk away and go, Oyo. <laughs> wow, man, that was yeah. worth it. That was worth yeah. the wait. Oh, okay, we're rolling. Sex, sex, and sex. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Louis. Well, WPTV, WPBT Channel 2 did not wish to comment on the actors' claims that they weren't paid residuals for the show. But with that being said, Cape Asa USA Today, 40 years later, opens at the Adrian R. Center Thursday, May 17th. Do you want to see it? Head to local10.com or our Facebook page to enter for a chance to win tickets to see the show at the Arst Center.
I'd say Joe went on to things. The Godfather, that Al Pacino. Was, that was pretty good. Oh, oh that's goodness. awesome. Oh, yeah. You know, Miami always, is always a launching pad. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see other spin-offs from that show, too, as well, you know? Oh, well, good. Awesome okay. stuff. We'll